So you want to create a new project. That's fantastic. My name is Alexander Richter. I'm a technical director and I will show you how to create a new project with Plex. So let's go to the Plex repository, which we downloaded before. And here, just as optional, you can go to data project default. And there you have a project template. The project template I already created to give you like a structure for the structure for your project. So it's a opportunity to use this one as a guideline for your own project. So let's call the project Anyman. So yeah. So now we already have a basic structure for our project and we can change and customize it for our needs. The other thing you should do before you do anything about project wise, you should go into the github.com slash richtalexander slash plex slash wiki. And there you find besides all the information about the pipeline, there's a structure tab. And here you have project structure where I explain why I did this structure, the software pipeline, where I set up the connections between specific softwares and how to do that. And of course, the naming conventions, how the file should be named, how the folder should be named, and what are the reasons for that. So check this out before you start a new project because it can help you to maintain some consistency. So, okay, let's go back to Plex. So we go to Plex, and now you want to create a new project. You have everything set up, and now Plex should be ready for you. The thing is, the easiest way, if you just have one project you currently work on, there's one easy way, you go into data, project, and then you just copy your default project and rename it to your project name. We call it Animan. So this is the one part. The second part is you go to the pipeline YAML file, open that, and change the project variable content to the folder name, Animan. So now we already use this configuration file as a test. Let's change the project name and start up Nuke. So while it starts, I will show you one other great thing is you can also overwrite things user-based. So there's a lot of times where people for a short period of time or for a specific task needs to have different setups than the whole other team. So how you do that? The thing how you do that is you go into data and here you have a user folder. Go well, there, search for yourself, Arichter here in my case. And besides having a log file, which logs all your current states, you also have the chance to copy there your configuration files. So let's copy project YAML and say it's now the user Anyman. And before we check out the results of this, let's check before. So you see, we successfully renamed our project and overwritten all the configuration files and now using the Animan configuration files. So let's close this and now test the user setup. So the thing is, everything you throw in there will override the project configuration files because there's some of this kind of cases here and there where you need this kind of situations. But on the other side, be careful with that because you can override and don't understand why there's an override into your project for specific people. So as you can see, um, we started Nuke in the user Anyman state. So we overrode um, the project um, configuration files. So this was like the easiest approach of how to work on if you work mainly on one project with your team. But what, what if the case is you work in the morning on project A and in the evening on project B? So the switch would be really complicated in this case. So we have a solution for that and it is the um, late pipeline approach. So what does I mean with, uh, with layered pipeline approach? So we have this graphic here for that. Um, you have the basic root pipeline in your system. It's now Plex. 
what you can do is you can stack overplex your project so you can put some information into your project and lay them on your plex repository what happens is you will use your project and work with there and start your maya from there and it will automatically search everything it needs from the project files if it can't find it it will go down to your root folder and search it there so you have there the chance to create multiple projects with just specific overrides but still using the core system of your company or your project or your team so how does it work so to create a layered pipeline approach you need to copy data and executional folder and put it into your project so we go to anyman we here at pipeline and copy it there so we're halfway done what we now have to do is we go into the pipeline yaml of our project and here go into path so if you go into path you see there's a, this variable and it's very at the bottom so it means it will take the root path from here so this this means there's nothing in between it will everything will be here or no and since we are now in the project we need to put it up so we put it up there and add dplex below and as I said like you have now the layer pipeline approach it will use this project settings and scripts and if it can't find it it will go down to dplex and search for specific scripts and customization there and now you already have created uh, a layered pipeline system just to check it out be careful user setup as i said um, go into data to project and let's change our name to layered anyman then go back into your project pipeline executional and let's start Maya so what it does at this moment it will search for all the scripts for menus and uh, plugins in the project folder when it finds it there you will use this ones but specifically it will use the configuration file of your project folder if it can't find it just goes down into your root plex folder and will use everything's there what it, what it needs to have so let's go into the maya console if we can and here you see we use the layered anyman project file which means we use the project uh, pipeline for this moment and just uh, all, uh, like have additional root paths for that so as you see you have like the two big options before that you can use the templates read about it in the wiki but then you can either create and copy the configuration files in the root path or you can copy the configuration files with the executional and put it in your in your project pipeline and use them as as a as a like as, as a customized version of your project if you want to have more information on this topic just go uh, onto the repository especially the wiki and here you can find more about the layered pipeline approach and all the other scripts. I hope this short introduction of the layered pipeline and new project creation helps you to create a better project for yourself. And stay tuned for my other videos and I will see you later. Goodbye.